boom, coming in hot on a Friday. What's up, Chinch? How we doing, brother? What's up, man? I'm proud of myself today. I woke up. Talk to me. Talk so to me. cozy in my bed, man. It's like a nice temperature. It's warming up a little, but like, you know when you wake up in your bed and like the sheets are like, I think we just changed the sheets last yeah. night. I was like. <laughs> it's so good. I was like, I'm not going to do the shower thing. I'm just not going to do it. And I was like, no, I got to do it. Casey says I got to right. do it. And I did it. And I'm awake. Yep, you got you got to hack you got to hack the laziness principle in your in your body. You yeah. got to not get out of bed. Yeah. Get did out. you ever did you you didn't play with uh Jeff Brantley, did you? Or Yeah, was, I played with Brantley. Yeah. Did you? I played with Brantley. Oh no, 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 no. Time out. Sorry. The closer. I didn't Jeff. play with Brantley. I played against Brantley. Oh, okay. When he when was I closer. With, I played with Jeff Branson. Oh, okay. Those are two different so, people. But it was close. It was close though. But yeah, yeah no, but I never played with the Cowboy. Great dude. I love dude, love Jeff Brantley. He was so great when we were kids and like production assistants at uh at ESPN. Oh. He he was so so giving and so cool with us. But he's the Cowboy, man. He's got The Cowboy, baby. And I, and I thought about him this morning cuz it's like I was like how am I going to get out of bed whatever. And Brantley used to say this one line when he would when he would do uh like baseball at night. He'd be like when you talk about Roger Clemens, you're not talking <laughs> about that Mr. Splitty. You're talking about intestinal fortitude. <laughs> he always said, like, his favorite players, he's like, you got to have intestinal fortitude to play this game. <laughs> I don't know why he dude, popped into my head today. So great. He was so great. Dude, the cow- dude, the cowboy who's the play-by-play guy for the Reds, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, yeah. He told me, he's like, you know, he pitched, he had a great career in the big leagues, closed, you know, all those years. Mm-hmm. And- and uh, he said his dream job, though, was that, to be in the booth, like, growing up. He's like, he, yeah. he didn't really want to be a big leader. He wanted to be in the booth. Super smart is, guy, by the way. Which is pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Do Dude. you know? Go ahead. What were you going to say? And go back to that Mississippi State team, bro. Do you know who was on bro. that team? Yeah. Is that the Ventura team? Or no? Uh, no. Oh, no. no. Well, who no. was that? Will Clark. Oh, that's Jeff right. Br- oh, right. Jeff Brantley, Raphael Palmero, and right. Bobby Thigpen on the same oh, that's college that picture. team, dude. That's a picture of them. That's crazy. 85 World Series, yeah. dude. It was like one of the biggest reasons. I, 86 World, 85 the World Series. One of the biggest reasons I wanted to play college baseball was that ESPN did like a video of like 85, 86 College World Series. And that's Will right. Clark, you know, scoring, doing that. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. Oh, yeah. When he comes yeah, up with a slap after he scored. Yeah, it's so great. Yeah. I, yeah, it's awesome. Do you know Jeff, uh, I don't think I'm speaking out of school here, but Jeff made an investment with one of his buddies. One of his buddies back in the day was like, he was he was invent, he was was like an inventor, and he was inventing some form of glass. So yeah. Brantley obviously retired. He you know, had a couple bucks in his pocket from playing in the big leagues and invested in this guy's glass. It turned out that the glass this guy made was like soundproof, waterproof, bulletproof, whatever. And it wound up going into like most airports in the United States, and Brantley made what? freaking gazillion dollars off of it. No wonder I he's think. doing. Play, no wonder he's loving play by play. Yeah, exactly. I think, and I'm, I hope I'm not speaking out of school. I could have very well I, made that up, fans. So, but I'm, I'm, I'm pretty. I'm pretty certain I was him. <laughs> I could have made it up. Yeah, uh, he loved blackjack, though. I know that when we would go to like St. Louis for like, you know, he was like kind of like a St. Louis legend. Oh, we would yeah. go to those oh, yeah. uh, those river, the river bo- boats, the, the river boat casinos on the on the. Uh, what river cool. is that going to Canada, basically? I can't remember what the river. I've been yeah, on man. Chris Reisman. I remember that story with Reisman. I oh, one yeah. night we went to the river boat. Yeah, those we are some we shady didn't know casinos, what time man. It was, it was shady. It you was walk shady out of there, like, you got nine pieces of gum stuck to your freaking <laughs> shoes. Like you just, smell like you smell like you were just in uh, a, a local uh, a New York diner in yeah, the sixties. Yeah. You come yeah, out yeah. there, smell like seventeen packs of Marlboro. Yeah, like you ate a pack of cigarettes without <laughs> taking a wrapper off. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Some of those casinos are nasty. <laughs> Dude, not oh. that long. It's funny. It, it just jarred my memory. Not that long ago, I remember my dad. My dad used to take a lot of road trips. You know, he was a traveling salesman growing up. But he'd always come home on that Thursday night, and I remember going to the door to, the door to meet him, and he would just smell like <laughs> eight packs of cigarettes. My dad didn't smoke at all, and my and I'm like, boy, man, dad, you know, yeah. you smell like smoke. He's like, yeah, I was stopped at a diner on the way home. And, oh. Like, you know, geez. you know what kids today, lucky for them, don't have. Remember, what, dude, when we were in like high school and college, you could smoke in bars. You remember waking yeah, uh, waking up in the morning with your hair smelling like smoke, like cigarette smoke. Oh yeah, yes, dude, dude yes. I'll never. I, I, that, that I can smell it right now, thinking about it. Oh, and you're like, gosh. I would have to like when we'd be in bars. I, I would have to like go to the bathroom and I have sensitive eyes. I have to wash my eyes out because I'd be sitting there and <laughs> a pillow of smoke. <laughs> 
Trying so to like true, sift dude. through it to talk to girls. So true. Well, then you look over, a couple of your buddies are smoking heaters too. Like, what are we doing? Are we on the baseball team or what? <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. It's true. <laughs> hey, so as we speak, I thought I st- we still didn't re- realize. We still haven't figured out if it's tomorrow or yesterday or today in, in uh, Japan. But no, <laughs> but no matter what day it is, Otani again today, dude, he's two for three, yeah. two runs, an RBI, two walks. He's hitting, I don't know what how many games he's played so far this spring, but he's hitting 571. Like, what is yeah. happening? This guy is unbelievable. Like This guy's incredible. It's and, not, and it's not boring to talk about him. How's that? I'm not well, bored talking no. about him yet. No one's. You're ne- we talk about him every day. It never gets boring. Well, how could you? There's so much. This guy's, uh, you know, got so much action on. You know, he's a pitcher. He's a hitter. He's all this stuff. And he can fly. Don't forget it. And he could probably be one of the best. He would probably be a Gold Glove outfielder yeah. if they let him play outfield. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. He's almost but, as I mean, good as. Uh, he's almost as so good impressed. as Jake Casey. He's almost as good as Jake Casey. He's <laughs> <laughs> almost as good as Jake Casey. He's closing on Jake Casey's <laughs> Um But you know what's incredible, bro, is that like. This is not easy to do. I remember I'd be at spring training, dude. I, I would suck at spring training. Like, these first couple of weeks, I'm like, I can't believe I'm a big league ball player. Like, I can't believe I'm a career 300 hitter. Like, <laughs> these guys are mowing me down. Like, it's unbelievable. So, to just come out to sh- out to shoot, I know it's WBC and there's a little more adrenaline going. Probably that helps. But, like, to come out and just start raking the way Otani yeah. has and dominating on the mound and, you know, going just, what he went, four or five innings already. Right. On the bump, like it's it's incredible, unbelievable, and yeah. like like you said, you still have to square a baseball up. You still have to yeah. hit it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you, yeah, you actually have to hit the baseball. Yeah, yeah. and and the pitchers are always ahead of the hitters at this time. You know, so crazy. Anyway, uh, here comes Macy and Bella running around. I'm trying to give them bones. Somebody yesterday, I, I apologize. Bella was going nuts yesterday. Some one of our fans wrote on our YouTube page. Uh, I agree with everything Bella said today. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, guys. So I'm so trying good. to keep them down. Bella, Bella's becoming famous. Yeah. Hey, so there was one thing we didn't get to yesterday that I really wanted to get to. We were both saying that we were watching new TV shows. Yeah. Oh, I yeah, got, yeah, yeah, I got yeah. one for you. Do you want to do yours first? Or you want well, no, no. It? What do you got? What do you got? Dude, it's called Your Honor. Your Honor. Oh, I already watched it. Cranston? Bro. You're caught Sorry. up? There's a season two now. <gasps> what? Did you just thumbs down me? Yeah, I thumbs down you because I watched it a year ago. Oh, but did you like it? There's a season two that you uh, haven't seen yet. Obviously. Sorry, I didn't mean. To, I, I kind of big leagues right there. You definitely big leagues. That's but okay. I, no, I did not. No, I didn't. Big I think it's you. good. You didn't like it. I mean, it's dark. No, I loved it. No. Oh, oh, okay. No, I thought you were thumbs down in the show. You didn't thumbs, thumbs down me down any day of the week. I know. I was thumbs down in you. <laughs> I'm used to that. Because because you're a year behind. I'm like you're a year. Behind. You and Jess are usually like seven, the seven shows ahead of everybody. You're throwing your honor at me. <laughs> Why? No, you're throwing your honor. I watched it on Showtime. Oh, okay. I actually, uh, dude, I actually, have you ever done this? I actually got the Showtime subscription just to watch that show. And then did you cancel it after? Then I canceled. Well, then I forgot to cancel <laughs> it for a few months. Then I realized I was paying Showtime. Like, I got to cancel. Yeah. Very good. Uh, I think I think I watched season two already. I did. I just I just confirmed it with Sarah. You did watch season have, two? Have you watched it? I mean, is it over? I watched the, the last episode of the first season, which was terrifying. First of all, for anybody who hasn't watched it, I'll just say this. It's Cranston's a judge. I can't yeah. say what happens. Yeah, you, But within you can't, the first, like, two minutes of the <laughs> series, yeah, you, you, it's the whole thing. <laughs> and yeah, it's you're just like, in. you're yeah, locked in. I already in watched and... season two. I watched the whole thing already. Holy crap. Wait, season two's yeah. over? I thought it's, like, just the Yeah, no, it's over. It's, if you had Showtime a year ago, it was over. Wow, shame on me and Jess. <laughs> wait, wait, where are you guys watching it? On Paramount? Yes, no. or whatever it is. Yeah, whatever they, yeah, yeah, wherever yeah, they yeah. go after they die on yeah, a regular yeah, life. Like, yeah. <laughs> What's the yeah, show yeah. you? You said you had a show that you love. Uh, well, I'm, dude, I'm watching um, a Full Swing. What's that? On Netflix, dude. Our girl Shannon Valeen from uh, from MLB Network is the producer on the show. Is she really? Yes. Yes. What? Yes, bro. You would love it. It's called Full Swing, and bro, I'm not a huge golf fan. But it follows PGA golfers to the PGA Championship, the U.S. Open, Augusta, like and, and dude. But it goes to like not just like, you know it follows Justin Spieth, the one Justin Thomas. But then it goes into some other like guys you don't know, rookies, and dude the it, it, the the way they produce it, bro. You're gonna you're gonna change. Is it like hard eyes. like hard knocks for golf kind of thing? Yes. I, yes, I call it right. Exactly, dude. Good for exactly. Shannon, man. I love Shannon. Yeah, Shout out yeah, to Shannon. Yeah, Shannon's, Shannon's the best. Yeah. So I, yeah, she, she was fired up. And dude, you were gonna love it. It's incredible. If anyone hasn't watched it, 
It's on Netflix. It's called Netflix. It's called Full Swing. I'm in. I'm in. It's so good. I Dude, guarantee I got... you and Jess will get hooked. Guaranteed. Yeah. That reminds me. I like, talked to I... Sarah's not a huge golfer and she's loving it. No, I, Jess loves golf. Je I told you, Je uh, Je Jeff. Jess. <laughs> Did I call her Jeff? <laughs> That's how tired I was. <laughs> Jeff. My wife, Jeff. Not that there's anything wrong with that. How's your wife, Jeff? <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> Jesus. No, uh, uh, Jess's dad could is basically. Basically, a pro golfer. He's not. He didn't go pro, but like, he's had. He's got like seven hole in ones, like, domination wow. station, big time. Which reminds me, I talked to Plesak last night. Uh, Dude, I'm talking. Sack's like one of the best golfers. One of the best there. golfers. He golfs seven days a week. Yeah, no, five, 365 days a year. Yeah, 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 he does. He literally. He uh, he had an eagle the other day. If you go on his Instagram what? page, yeah, dude, an eagle. He like, I think he got on a green with a drive, like. 300 something yards and then punched it in there's video oh of it like he's freaking out like pretty That's cool incredible. after he did it he's going like this. he's running around the course <laughs> doing like bird wings and like cackling and calling and anyway yeah. it's great talking i to love him. sack talking. That's so good dude he's That's so, so fun. good he um, does almost play every day and, and if the weather's not good he'll travel like he lives in yeah. jersey but he'll, he'll go to florida for like two months to play yeah. golf oh dude he goes on the spring there. trip in arizona and like him and Amsinger, yeah. like they, they spend like nine hours a day on a golf course in like thirty minutes just <laughs> knocking out like the MLB the night segments. I know. It's so funny. <laughs> it's great. So great. Do you know you I I just I told you you know this, right? I have never actually gone on a golf course, put a tee down, and swung what? a golf club. I've gone to the range. I've never I did not dude, I did not know that. You've never, never played once. Wait, never never played one played hole of golf. A hole not of a golf. Hole. Nope. And with Je Jess's I dad being one. who he is, you've Correct. never golfed with him. No. I mean, I could swing it. I wonder if he's talking behind your back. You know what I'm saying? Maybe, no, he like, talks right like, in front of my face. Like, how do you not tell? <laughs> but, like, but you know what it was? When I was in high school and I was trying to get recruited, my friends would be like, all right, let's go to the range. And then next weekend we're going to go go play. And I still, I, you know, I, I swing lefty, but I'm right-handed. Yeah, yeah, me too. So... I would go there, and I would hit bombs lefty, but they would go whoosh, like whoosh, right, right. left, right, up, down. And then uh, I would try it righty. But after I would go to the driving range, I would go into like a week-long slump in baseball. I, for, for, and, and I was trying to get recruited. I was trying to go, and I'm like, all right, I'm right. not playing golf until at least I get into college. Then when I got into college, I'm like, okay, I'm not going to play golf until I'm done playing college. And then, and then I just never golfed. I just never did it. I walked the... Uh, the Beth Page, Beth Page Black, the, the one that, that, that the PGA Tour plays at, I walked it with my friends once. That's the only time. And that really? was that. I, I just, I also just like, I can't justify like, hey, see ya. To, five to like hours? Jess. Yeah. See ya in five hours. I just don't have the discipline. Well, not the discipline. I just don't have the balls. I guess to yeah. be like, hey, I'm going to be down for five hours. You know, like there's so much else I can do. Now, listen. People are obsessed with it. It's great. I know it relaxes a lot of people. Yeah. Although, I also like people get so miserable playing golf. Like miserable when they're not swinging uh, dude, right. That's one thing. Ruins I, one a whole thing week. I, dude, one thing I decided is like, listen. I, when I play golf, I'm not a pro. I am not going to go crazy about you know being miserable. I don't practice. You got to get good. At, if you practice, it's the only way to get good. So I'm. I, I go out there just to really enjoy the scenery and have fun. You know, it's funny. It's like two different worlds for me too, Chinch. Back when I used to drink, you know, I haven't drank in like probably like almost four and a half years. Mm -hmm. Back when I used to drink, I think I played golf just to have a few beers. <laughs> right. you know, and I'm like, yeah. I'm better with a couple beers in me. <laughs> Got to, you know, <laughs> yeah. get it myself oiled up. But now that I don't drink, I'm like, oh, I really, you know, I'm really actually enjoying golf. I'm like, oh, this is, this is actually a different experience because <laughs> nine to 18 holes. And uh, dude, I'm not, a, I'm not an 18 hole guy. I'm nine to 12. I'll play okay. 18. If a buddy's in town or, you know, like, like Rossi, David Ross came into town, me, him, and Dempster went, and my buddy Jay Adams went and played 18 holes. I'll do that. But, dude, I, I belong to a country club, this country club, Valley Brook Country Club. No tee times. And I just walk up and play. I go, I'll play six to nine, dude. There you go. Uh, you know, I'll just be sitting in my house. Like, you know, I'm going to go play six to nine holes. I actually enjoy it. I actually enjoy getting out there, being outside, you know, being in the nature and, and playing golf. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's funny. That's a new. new I think you would like it, dude. I'm sure I would like it, but I also think nine that, holes, not eight, no, eighteen, five hours, two hours I could do, yeah. and a, and a quick salmon salad at the end, there, oh, or, nice. or, or nice ribeye. Nice, yeah. See, I like that. I like being sitting at the end 
and then having like the lunch, you yeah. know, the turkey yeah. club or something like that. Yeah, yeah. real nice. Yeah. But nice you soup. know what I think my problem would be is like I would start obsessing. I, you know what I mean? Like I would try to get good and try to get really good. And then you try to yeah. get great. And then next thing you know, you know, again, you're police act and you're never at home. You're just walking <laughs> around the golf course. And, hey, I don't know. Dude, I just, I, did, I ever, did I ever tell you the, my Augusta story? No, this is going to be good. Oh, dude, this is a great story. I'll tell you. Uh, so, you know, a few years back, right, right after I was done playing. Um, and, and like I said, at the time, uh, so, so Barry Larkin, so my, my, my financial guy, John Hayes, asked me to go play Augusta. So it was John Hayes, me, Barry Larkin, and a guy named Jim Reinhardt, who owned the financial company. And obviously, he was a member at Augusta. And John Hayes called me. He's like, one day, he's like, hey, man, he's like, would you like to play Augusta with me and Lark? And I'm like, dude, I, I, like I said, I'm not a golfer at the time, you know? So yeah. I'm like, I can't, bro, I can't, bro. I, you know, I just came back from David Ortiz's event, and I just can't, you know, get down to it. And he's like, and then he, he just texts you right back. I don't think you understand what I'm asking you. <laughs> it's Augusta. Do you want to play Augusta? <laughs> and I'm like, I don't understand what you don't understand. I can't do it. Like, I can't do it. So anyway, bro, in the next three weeks, so J John Hayes, my, my financial guy, is beside himself that I said no. So three weeks later, in the three weeks, I told a couple people, yeah, I got asked to play Augusta. Like, you know, I just can't do it right now. I got, they're like, what? Same reaction. <laughs> what do you mean? You got asked to play Augusta? You're not going to do it? I go. And then, so after the three weeks of those reactions, I called John Hayes. I'm like, I'm in, Hayes. <laughs> I'm in. I'm in. I want to play Augusta. So anyway, we go to Augusta, bro. It's, Chinch, it's incredible. It, it's like, even if you're not a golf fan, as I wasn't at the time, we stayed on the 10th Fairway um, Lodge. We spent Ooh. the night. Oh, I got We had a like, nice bottle of wine, you know, you know, nice dinner, unbelievable dinner. The, 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 the cook just like, hey, like, what do you want? Like, uh, give me a, um, you know, lamb shank. He's like, all right, no problem. I think we got one of those in the back. Like, you're just, <laughs> dude, you're just making up your order. They have it. They have it at Augusta. Wow. So it comes out, boom. We have a great dinner. We, you know, we go in. Oh, next morning I go, I, you know. Spent like $5,000 in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, <laughs> the, the, the pro, pro shop, pro shop. Yeah. The pro <laughs> shop. Like, Hey, give me the seven of those, uh, you know, collared shirts. And freaking <laughs> good, good things I don't need. <laughs> give me some of those nudie need. tees. What is it called? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nudie <laughs> you know, give me one of the couple pullovers for 500 <laughs> bucks each. Whatever. Just so ridiculous. So ridiculous. So anyway, we go out there, bro. We're playing Augusta. We're one of two foursomes out there. Chinch. It's like December 8th. I mean, it's, it's as it's as magical as you can imagine, dude. Mm. There's dew on the grass. We're getting, we're teeing off early, having a great time. And, uh, dude, about nine, you're not allowed to bring your phone out either. I brought my phone out and the Jim Reinhardt, who was the, who was the <laughs> member was like, what do you do? It was like, it was like SWAT yeah. team was in the, you know, yeah. it was in the, was in the uh, woods. What do you do with your phone? Out? I go, oh, <laughs> I'm taking a picture of Amen Corner. Oh, and, I, and he's like, put it away, put it away. So I'm like, oh my God, put it away. So I put it away. So dude, I'm as stressed out as I'm hitting balls. Augusta's never seen, dude. I'm teeing off. I'm hitting, I'm <laughs> launching Augusta's balls. Like it's like to the first right. And like people like Lark and those guys are like, are you serious? I'm like, dude, I'm serious. I'm like, that's why I said I shouldn't have played Augusta. I'm embarrassing myself. And the, dude, I don't know if, dude, in Augusta Chinch, the sand traps, bro, it's like you're in, it's like you're in a, uh, in a Star Wars movie <laughs> like a and bunker. the sand people oh. are coming. Yeah. You're like, why, why, where is the green? Like, how, why am I so far down? Never seen anything like this. It's unbelievable. So I'm in the traps. I'm on other, I'm on other fairways about whole nine. Dude. And, and, and we have caddies, dude. So you're walking. So dude, we have the caddies with the full jump, oh, white yeah. jumpsuits. Legit. <laughs> yeah. Guy's like a local though. He's not like Joe. Yes. He's not like the, the tiger yes, guy. Guy's tigers, like a local guy. Augusta. So I said to the guy at the turn, dude, like I said, back then I used to just want to have a couple beers in, in, in golf. You know, now I said, now that I don't drink, I just golf. But I, mm. back then I, I grabbed the caddy. I was so stressed out because I'm like, these guys are good. They're like, <laughs> they're dominating. I, I'm shooting a 120 to 140 right now, no <laughs> doubt about it, through nine. So I, let, I grabbed my caddy. I'm like, bro, I'm like, listen, any chance you can get me? some Miller lights for the back nine. I was like, is there a cart girl that comes around on Augusta? Why don't I see it? Where's, it? Where's the cart girls? There's, no, there's nobody driving around. They're like, the guy was like, dude, there's no cart girls. There's only two foursomes out here. I'm like, you gotta be kidding me. So I'm like, I was like, here's, I gave him 400 bucks. Here's 400 bucks. Get me six Miller lights. So, so dude, my caddy leaves me for a hole. I'm carrying my bag. I'm like, eh. I'm like lugging it around. Larkin's you know, probably they're, they're, just shaking his head. Dude, at they're you. like, why did we bring this guy? Why did we bring this guy? I don't care at this point. I just want to have a couple of beers. So next, you know, next, you know, my my caddy shows up. He's like, he's like, sir. No, he's like Sean. He's like, uh, 
there's six Miller lights in your uh, ball bag. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yes. Thank goodness. So, 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 so those guys tee off one, Barkham, Jim, John Hayes. Then I tee off. They, they go up ahead. I go behind a, behind a tree in Augusta and just polish off a Miller light. <laughs> I'm like, all right. I, I, it feels like it feels like I'm, I'm at the local. The tree. It feels like I'm at a local. Yeah, because it wasn't. You know, I'm like this is this is like this is not the this is yeah. not the way I golf at the time. I don't golf. I don't just golf 18 holes and and I say, hey, what yeah. a good score I got. Like, no, dude, I, I was launching balls all over the place. I I couldn't wait to. The stress level was yeah. was so high. So You're like anyway, the Italian like, kid from Caddyshack, and like meanwhile, yeah, no, like that, Larkin's like Judge Smells. <laughs> <laughs> so ridiculous dude that was oh, that was 12 years ago times have changed <laughs> wow that is great maybe i'll pick it up maybe this spring i'll go out with my father-in-law he'll teach me i mean dude you should go and he knows golf dude, dude he you, doesn't just Chitch, know you're golf a, Chitch, dude. you're such a good athlete dude you just need a couple lessons yeah i guess i guess seriously yeah i'll give it a whirl <laughs> i golf righty too i golf righty i think see when i golf righty when i swing righty i hit it straight but i don't hit it far Doesn't and matter. everybody's like oh you're a righty and i'm like it's boring it bores me no, you're righty I know. you're righty or you're going to be in the woods all the time like hey i'm a lefty you can crush it it's not straight yeah, but i like seeing how far the ball goes <laughs> oh, God. anyway Jesus. all right well we're heading into the weekend you got any big week oh again let's remind everybody what, yeah. what do you got you got your program starting today is it today oh yeah breakthrough breakthrough pro i'm about to launch i, I got i'm i'm about to launch um our first ever uh ad is that I'm gonna say an ad? Just a post. Mm. I put a post together to launch it. So, nice. we're, dude, we're not even we're, we're, it, breakthroughpro.com. Go check it out. It's an unbelievable mental performance program that I put together. This is our second. This is our second one, Breakthrough Pro Two. Mm-hmm. The results we got the first time were incredible. So nice. it's gonna be awesome. Gonna be limited in spots though. We're only taking I think 20 people this round. So. Gotcha. All right. Well, one you know other programming note, dude. People really want the signed Sean Casey baseball. Yes, dude. dude yes. The numbers are going up again. I'll put the note in in the copy. You got to go to my social media. You got to go or Sean's social media. We have got we are getting pummeled with who this silhouette is of the guests that we are having Monday. Some very creative, some good creative answers. Some real sickos. Some people are putting some sicko things. But I, I welcome them. So sick. We might not read all the sicko ones. I think so we'll get to. Sick. There's some funny ones. But again, you have to you have to say who who our guest Monday is, but judging by the silhouette and the funniest response <laughs> when He's this guest Oh, I almost said the guy's name. I almost blew the whole thing just now. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't say his name. No, but by the way, this guest is going to do something like I said that maybe Can never... I say what he's going to do? Yeah, I can say. Yeah, what yeah, 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 yeah. This guest is not only an unbelievable baseball player, but he's also unbelievable musician and he's going to play some songs for us on monday yes. let's go yes and i upgraded our Incredible. roadcaster pro shout out to roadcaster at the yeah. amazon with the tech yes. people and i'm like i want to make sure this has got to be crisp it's got to right. be crisp yeah. right and on clean time. on monday yes. maybe yes. maybe if he does an original or something we can uh we throw him like 10 bucks each and get a little piece of the pie when he when he <laughs> releases it maybe he can sing. <gasps> maybe we make him do a new to the theme. millions and millions of fans that we have change well, hey maybe he can he can ad lib a new theme song for the show. Oh, maybe. Maybe. I don't maybe. think he'll do that. I don't no, want to waste his time. That. He's not going to do that. All right. All right. We're, we're, that's wasting his time. It's still going <laughs> to waste his time. Anyway, it's going to be really great. It's, it's going to be, be really great, good. dude. All it's right. going to be incredible. All right. All right, brother. I'm going to see Jake tomorrow, Kent State. Uh, Saturday, okay. my, my son Andrew's coming home tonight. So excited. We're all going to yeah. fly there's drive four, there tomorrow. Four or five more. Sunday. Hit four or five more homers this weekend. Just call it a weekend. Have some Incredible, lunch. Dude. All right, bro. Have, yeah, fun, have some lunch. All right, Chigi. Love you, brother. Have love a great you, weekend, dude. Tell you Jess too. I said hi. Right, or Jeff. Tell Jeff. I said hi. <laughs> I'll tell Jeff. <laughs> See ya.